It's been raining every single day here. So not a lot has been done, unfortunately. I found out that my camera will be back around July 10th or 15th. So that's no good. Horrible, but at least it's covered under warranty. So can't complain. Oh well. So in the meantime, I got a selfie stick, which I swore to myself I would never buy, uh, to effectively use my phone better until my camera gets here. Anyway, so you all be the judge of that. What? Who is in here? Missy. It's Tiger's bed. Ah, looks like a hen found its way in there. Is it? Is it? Is it Tiger's? No, Tiger doesn't lay eggs. He's a dog. But a hen found its way into one of Tiger's houses. That's not his house. A hen laid an egg in Tiger's house. A hen laid an egg in Tiger's house. Right here! Right here! Yeah. What are you guys up to? Hey, buddy. This is Stud Muffin. Ho! Stud Muffin. I think he's the uh, top dog of this homestead. I need to put him a scratching post in the middle because he scratches his scares a lot. Haven't been able to do that. It's just been raining every day. Hey, Snowflake. How you doing, baby? And there's Louise. Hi, baby. What are you doing? What you up to? Nothing. Talking to these turkeys. Those are all turkeys except for this imposter right here, Silky. And then, whoa, how are you doing? And then there's another Silky in here. So this weekend I am planning to uh, hang the wood for the rabbit cages to move them into this enclosure. Um, like I said, it's just been, it has been raining every single day. Um, not continuously, but it rains while I'm at work. It doesn't rain while I'm at work and when I get home it rains. So, And it's supposed to be raining for the next, I don't know, till next Wednesday or something, but hopefully we'll get a break this weekend. Hopefully we'll get a break this weekend and uh, be able to put those up. Yeah, okay. What are you doing, Tiger? You being a good boy? Yes, sir. <laughs> Our butchering of the rabbits has also been put off because of the rain. Um, we have two does that are scheduled to have kits today, tomorrow, yesterday. Um, there's no telling with rabbits. Uh, it's typically the 28th to 32nd day and uh, they are well on that schedule. I believe today is the 30th day. So rabbits typically don't have their babies during the daytime. They actually wait till it's nighttime. Even domesticated rabbits uh, still have that instinct to have them at night under the cover of darkness so that they don't raise the suspicion of predators. Yes, sir. Michael has a problem. Surprise, surprise. What, Bubba? Is that better? Anyway, before, as I was saying before Michael threw a fit, is um, domesticated rabbits, well any rabbits, generally try to have their babies at nighttime for security purposes. So I'm about to go check and see if they did last night. I didn't check this morning. Um, another thing, common misconception is people think that you can breed 
wild rabbits with domesticated rabbits and you can't. They are, they are a chromosome off. They will not breed. They might try to do the act, but you're not going to get anything out of it. So even though they... Oh, let me show you something real quick. Look at this one with the white nose and he's got one white sock. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? All black feet except for that one white paw. And these are um, Sunshine's babies right there's Mama. Look at that. I know you're not supposed to play with your food, but I can't help it. She's adorable. Or he. I'm not sure if it's a boy or girl just yet. And this one's also got a spot on the nose too. And he's got brown socks on. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Shadow, one of our best breeding bucks. He is, his position is to uh, eat and mate. So I think he's got a mate. It's one of our, one of our, one of our breeding males. And this is the other, this is Gandalf. He's a big old boy. Hey, buddy. Hey bud. This is Eva, big old pregnant mama. She's about 12, 13 pounds. And you can see that she has stacked hay in her nest box, but has not pulled fur yet. The day before, hours before when she has her baby, she will pull out a blanket of fur and uh, start stacking it in this box and lining the box, almost like a comforter. And here's Miss Penny, our other pregnant doe. And as you can see, she doesn't have any babies as well, but she's also stacked hay in her box. This is a common thing that they do. And right when you put hay in their cage, they'll begin stacking it. They, they lay it lengthwise in their mouth and just big, get big old piles of it and just lay it right across the bottom, making a perfect nest. It's amazing to watch. And uh, if you look through my videos, you'll see a video or two uh, showing you that. Just awesome instinct. I've got a really cool um, tutorial planned for you guys. Not tutorial, but um, I'm going to when I get the yeah, when I get the rabbit cages moved. I'm going to hook up a solar fan system for the rabbits. It'll run directly off of solar, and I will, each of the cages will have a fan that will cool them during the uh, summer. So. Pretty excited to show you guys how I'm gonna do that. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? You turn around. Why? Turn around. Why? What's wrong? You turn around. No, I don't want to turn around. Why? Why didn't we turn around? Why didn't we turn around? Can you please turn around? No. Don't trust you. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I need to get my keys. Oh, you hid your keys in a secret hiding spot? Yes. Because I lose the keys? Yes. Should we go look for them with you? <laughs> Where are the keys? Are they on the potato plant? Something tells me they're in the greenhouse. Did you hide them in the greenhouse? Mm hmm. Did you hide them in the greenhouse or the potatoes? I have my own set of keys. I don't need your keys. Well, if you can't find yours, you'll get mine. Maybe. Ah! There we are. I don't lose keys. Yes, you do. I lose everything. I don't. I mean, I've lost a set of two, but... We lock the goats up just because it makes me feel better. I put a padlock on their cage. I'll tell you what, when I get up to heaven, I'm gonna uh, talk to Noah and see how he did the squish the mosquitoes before they got on the ark. Autopilot, she knows where that food is. Tiger is more interested in getting this milk, Michael. I don't really think he wants to comply with you. Tiger knows where that good, delicious milk comes from. 
Because on occasion, when Snowflake here steps in it, Tiger gets him a big old pile of milk. Did I tell you that Brie candled the eggs and um, 12 out of 19 had chicks in them? Oh, sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. She said that she's going to uh, build a special coop just for the silkies. I'm talking about Art and Brie. They have an amazing channel if you search for them on YouTube. Um, I think they started out, I think, this year or late last year and have 20,000 subscribers. They're just great people. Trench never got finished. That's got to get finished this weekend too. It's rained and filled up in it. I'm actually going to rent a trencher this weekend to do quite a few things. So one of those things. Go Tiger. What? I still need to build a little building over the well. What you doing? What is this one's name? Sandy. Sandy. Haha, <laughs> Sandy. Is that a um, spotted one still alive? Yeah. What you doing there? Oh, you know, riding a wild pony. You learn numbers today. How yeah, much? Yeah. How much can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Nice. Right on, buddy. Twenty. Twenty. The fruit trees and the pecan trees seem to be doing pretty well. Well, these are all apples. They're doing pretty good. I might, end up, might even end up taking the cages off of them because I don't really have much of a deer issue here. And then these are peaches. And down there is a uh, avocado tree. A couple different types of peaches. And I've got a lemon and a satsuma tree over here. But the avocado seems to be doing pretty well. Um, I guess for lack of a better word. <laughs> garden's been absolutely destroyed by all the rain. We've got to finish the fence on it. But as you can see, we've got two rows of asparagus here. These are all blueberries. Those are all blueberries. And then there's two rows, I'm sorry, two rows of raspberries back there. Um, right here is a satsuma and then there's a lemon tree. How much did you get? What is that? A frog oh, that's awesome. and this. Oh, Tiger, this. he's not going to bother him. Come here. Stop it. <laughs> Let me see. Hey. No, sorry. Let me see. Let me see what we got here. Let me see that one too. Let me see it. Whoa. Did you draw that? Mm -hmm. That is an awesome frog, buddy. And I draw the... What is this? Something for Father's Day? No, for, for you. <gasps> for me? Mm -hmm. You're so awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It okay. says, Happy Father's Day. Every day I am exploring, touching everything I've found. I leave behind my little marks and handprints all around. 
You are always cleaning up those handprints, but someday when I'm grown, you'll wish you had just one handprint to keep for all your own. I made this handprint for you so that one day when I'm tall, you'll remember what my hand looked like when I was very small. Love, Michael. Oh, buddy, that's an awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I and love I, and, I, and I, got for, I got for you and Mama. Oh, I love you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, buddy. Can I have a hug? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's so awesome. I'm going to put it by my bed, okay? Mm -hmm. For my other Father's Day gift from last year's. Well, wasn't that sweet? I said, wasn't that sweet? What? You better get to the house for rains. You better get to the house before it rains. Huh? Turn your lights on. Turn your lights on. There you go. have like six gallons of milk in the fridge so Laura is going to try her hand at cheese making so if you have any tips please let us know we've been reading and reading and reading and have all the supplies and everything but I want some cheese so she's going to try her hand at cheese making and if it's like everything else she does she'll be successful Being serious. That's right. <laughs>